So really quickly guys, I want to apologize ahead of time for how long this video is. I tried really hard to keep it short, but honestly, I recommend you pause this and go grab a snack because this is going to be a long video. What I'm going to do is down below, I'm going to list the products mentioned and the time they start. So if you only want to watch something specific, you can skip right to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy New Year. I love you. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming from the title, as you can probably tell, my 2015 favorites. So it's probably going to be a really long video. Sorry if I keep looking, I just want to make sure I'm in focus. It's probably going to be a really long video so I really just want to get into it. Um, but just before I start, I wanted to let you guys know that I did intend on planning to, uh, filming two videos today. Long story short, I had some problems with some of the new um, equipment I bought today. Like I'm using a new light, so that's why it's a, um, definitely a lot brighter um, in this video because I'm actually filming at night, believe it or not. Usually I film during the day and use a natural daylight, but today I'm filming at night. So... Long story short, I picked up some stuff, brought it home, couldn't figure out how to get it together. So I had to go back to the store, which is about a 30 to 40 minute ride from my house, get the guy to fix it, and then hit some traffic on the way home. But I'm home now, thank goodness, and I'm finally filming. So I'm going to try to do the second video tomorrow. Tomorrow, If I can't get it done tomorrow, though, it's basically pointless to post it because it's supposed to be a New Year's, New Year's Eve look. So I'm going to try my best, but I wanted to get this well, this is going to go up after New Year's Eve, so whatever. Anyways, so as you can tell from the title, this is my 2015 favorites. I haven't done a monthly favorites, like, ever, but I did want to, um, I figured if I was going to do one, I might as well do one for the year and then start trying to do them monthly um, as the, like, year progresses for 2016. I cannot believe that we are already in 2016. But it's it's pretty freaking crazy. So happy new year. I wish you all the best of luck and thank you guys so much for all the love and support and I'm just gonna get into it. So I have a few things. I'm gonna start with hair products and kind of work my way down. So uh, first thing I want to talk about is the shampoo and conditioner that I use. So I, like you guys know, I live in Arizona. So in New Jersey, the humidity is much higher. So my hair gets a lot more moisture from the air. But since I now live in Arizona, in the desert, it's a little bit different. I'm just going to tilt the camera down a little bit. So it's a little bit different, obviously, because the desert is drier and the air is much drier. And the water, I guess it has more like minerals in it. So it has been causing my hair to get really, really dry and like break. And that's why most of the time when you see it, it's like either in a bun or it's just natural because I don't want to put too much damage or do too much damage to my hair since it's already being damaged just from the, the weather here. So um, I started using these, I would say probably about a year ago. It's the Sebastian um, hair products. Now I bought this in New Jersey and I haven't found it here. I prefer the Sebastian Penetrate, but this is the Sebastian Drench and this is moisturizing shampoo. So it's supposed to be the hydrating one, but the Penetrate is like deep, um, deep reparative. So I do like that one better than this one, but this is the shampoo and conditioner that I have been using. Sometimes you get lucky and you find them like in a set together and it's cheaper. Um, individually it can get a little expensive, but together, um, like at a beauty supply store, when you find them packed together, it's actually a better deal. So definitely if you guys are looking for some hair products, I definitely recommend this one. This is I mean, it doesn't really matter which one you get, but it's like this detangler and it's like really skinny bristles. I've loved this this year for just untangling my hair because with curly hair, it definitely gets really tangly. So definitely recommend those. They're like, now everybody makes them. So, and you can find them everywhere. I've been using um, these two together. It's the John Frieda Daily Moist, uh, Daily Nourishment Leave-In Conditioner Detangles for a Touchable Smoothness Without Frizz. So I'll just wash my hair and then I'll spray I'll spray this stuff in it, brush it through, and then I'll use the Garn excuse me, the Garnier Fructis um, Sleek and Shine Leave-In Conditioning Cream. Um, 
I will use the, this is just a new bottle, I just picked it up because I had a 20% off coupon on Ulta, but it's the Diva Curl um, Light Defining Gel. So these three together is what I've been using whenever you see my hair just like natural curls. Um, before I move to face, this is kind of a random favorite, but I did want to talk about it. Um, my husband and I finally switched over to electronic toothbrushes. This is the Oral-B... I don't know, it's an Oral-B toothbrush, and I can tell you, since we started using it, I definitely see a difference in my teeth. I feel like they're so much cleaner. Whenever I try to use a regular toothbrush now, I feel like my teeth are just not as clean, and I can definitely see a difference in terms of white, like um, my teeth getting whiter. I'm really happy with it, so if you haven't tried it, a lot of dentists recommend it. Um, I highly recommend that one. I was really on the fence between that and the Sonicare, but I did get the Oral-B based on different reviews that I read, and we're really happy with it so far. Um, moving on to face so one product I have been in love with this year and I have used it non-stop and I just purchased a new bottle because it came out with a different top it's the Bioderma Sensivo H2O so this is great for this is the sensitive skin kind there's another one that's like um, not for sensitive skin but um, as you guys know I have really really sensitive skin so this is the one I bought I had a regular one with like the regular top and as soon as I got it I like broke the cap like I broke this piece I can show you guys it's right here I broke this piece so you can see it's like kind of like hanging off so I ordered this one because I really wanted the pump top I tried the like little empty ones you can get to refill and they were no good um, so I got the one with the pump top and then I'll just use this and then fill it up with the other bottle since I don't think they're gonna go like it lasts for a year but it can go a little longer I'm sure um, this is the best makeup remover I've ever used it takes off all of my makeup there I don't have to scrub hard and it's it literally feels like water washing off your makeup so I've really really been loving this year and I bought mine at on beautylish.com and then in terms of facial cleanser this is the one product I use every single day one time in the morning one time at night in the morning when I use it it's the um, the purity by philosophy fit one step facial cleanser it's great because it's for makeup remover as well but I do use it in the morning just because it, it's really fresh and it I really feel like I get my skin really clean and I don't feel like it dries me out too much so this is the one step facial cleanser from um, purity so I use this in the morning and then look how red my skin is getting from itching it and then at night I use it on my Mia 2 the Clairsonic and I just put it on there um, what is it like a minute and then wash up my face and it removes all my makeup which I'm like I'm I love love this combination and then in the day and the nighttime moisturizer that I've been using you guys know I complain about my dry skin all the time so um, the daytime and night moisturizer I've been using now this is kind of cheating because I just got it but I'm in, obsessed with it so I haven't found a really good daytime moisturizer and I've been complaining to my husband that I really have dry skin and I'm so sick of it blah 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 so we actually went out and surprised me with this belief um, belief believe in the truth the true cream moisturizing balm and I use this in the morning and I really really like it um, it does I have used it at night too and in the morning I can still feel like the moisture on my skin but it does last it says up to 26 hours and I really do believe I don't know if it's 26 hours but like let's say it between the time I put it on and the time I wake up is at least like 12 hours and I do feel like it's extremely hydrating extremely reparative for dry skin so I definitely recommend this he picked this up from Sephora and then at night, I've been using the Origins High Potency Nitamins Cream. So I just wash my face and put this on at night. I do feel like this has um, helped a lot with my dry skin and tightening my skin. Um, sticking with the face trend, I will talk about concealers and foundations. So I've used a ton of foundations this year. Um, the two that I like are both, the two that I've really, really fallen in love with this year are both like high-end products or not drugstore products. I can pull out my favorite um, drugstore foundation of the year and it would be the um, CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous. Um, so that would be the favorite foundation. But if I'm picking the two, like and I tried to limit it to two for each product that I loved this year I would pick the max studio um, the max studio face and body foundation I love this foundation it's like a water base so it's not sticky it's not thick it's not um, too cakey when you put it on so I really like this and I don't feel like I have to set this with a powder after I'm done and then the second favorite that I've been using like non-stop since I got it is the makeup forever ultra HD foundation stick 
So I've tried the liquid foundations and I didn't really love them, but I do really, really like this foundation. I'll put it on my face and then um, spray my brush and just blend it in, um, spray my brush with Fix Plus and then just blend it in. Um, this I do have to set though. And then the two concealers I've been really loving this year and I have tried a lot. I tried the LA Girl, I tried a whole bunch of drugstore, I tried even the NARS Creamy Concealer. These are my two favorite of the year. Um, the first one I want to talk about is the, Na uh, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer Weightless Complete Coverage and I'm in the color Medium Dark Warm. I have been obsessed with this this uh, concealer since I got it. I've been using it now probably going on six, seven months, and I'm on my second tube, so I definitely recommend this one. It's so easily blendable. The coverage is perfect. It's the it's the concealer I'm wearing today, and I'm really, I highly, highly recommend this product. And then the other one I've been really liking is the Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC. I really love this one, too. Um, the only thing is I don't like that it's a pump. I really like that that one's a doe foot applicator. This, with the pump, is a little more difficult, kind of kind of a little more messy, and this one crease, tends to crease a little bit more than the Naked, uh, the Urban Decay one. So definitely recommend this one as well. Um, the Urban Decay is definitely my number one, though. Move on to bronzers or contour palettes. So um, I, ha I only really have two contour palettes, but the one that I really love this year is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, uh, specifically this shade right here. And then these two, these two shades over here for contouring. Um, it can start to look a little like muddy, so you want to make sure you have the good, a good brush to blend everything out, blend everything out, blend everything out. All right, so sticking with the um, bronzer and highlighting, I would talk. I'm going to talk about my two favorite. Uh, bronzers of the year so I I really I got this one and I really fell in love with it. it is the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil so that's the color that it looks like it's definitely a warm tone blush um, it's great for bronzing up the face not necessarily for contouring but I do like to contour my face with a bronzer because I don't really like the look of the harsh contour and then the other one that I bought and I literally have not stopped using and I have to tell myself like okay put it down use something else you have a whole bunch of other bronzers but this is the Makeup Forever um, Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 351 it's um, so this is what that bronzer looks like. It has a little bit of a sheen, but really not on your face. It's a beautiful, warm, torn, warm bronzer. Extremely creamy, extremely easily blendable. I love this bronzer. So definitely my favorite for 2015. Um, I made quite a dent in there, and I've only had it a few months, so since like August. So definitely love this one. Moving on to blushes, I have three favorites for the year. Um, like I said, I tried to keep it like under control. So um, the first one I have is the NARS blush in the color Madly. It is the blush I'm wearing today. It's just a really nice natural blush. It does have a little bit of like tiny, tiny glitter. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a sheen. But um, I do have highlighter on as well. But that is the blush, my favorite, one of my favorite blushes for the year. The second one was part of the Too Faced Love Flush in the color Baby Love. So I talked about these. I purchased a few of them. The only thing I don't love about these is the packaging. As much as it's cute, it's freaking hard to open. Like, it's just a difficult package to open, but the color is beautiful. Again, it's a nice, like, neutral, everyday color, kind of a blush that goes with every single makeup look. So again, that's the Too Faced Baby Love and the Love Flush Collection. And then the third one I have is by Shisei, uh, Shiseido. I don't know, Luminizing Satin Face Color. My husband actually picked this color out for me. So it's just a nice, like, warm, like, no, warm. It's more of, like, a red, purpley, mauve -y blush. So that's what that one looks like. So that's it for blushes. And moving on to um, highlighters. So highlighters, I couldn't really control myself. I'm not going to lie. I narrowed it down to one, two, three, four... Five, but one of them is not, it kind of counts as three, but we'll get to that one. So I did pick a drugstore one, and um, I have an interesting story about another one. So the drugstore one I picked is the e.l.f. Um, Sunkiss. Now this is technically a bronzer, but I mean, this is not going to be bronzing up my skin. Come on. Um, I love this highlighter. I always get compliments on it when I wear it. It definitely looks like 
probably one of the one of the highlighters that looks most natural on me. Um, anytime I post a picture wearing on it, I get a lot of likes on it. So definitely recommend this. It's only freaking like three dollars, which like you cannot beat that. Next one I want to talk about is from the Bomb Cosmetics. It's the Mary Luminizer. So I love this highlighter because. A, I got it for 50% off when they had like one of their 50% off sales. So that's what I mean. Like it's kind of like drugstore price. So it's kind of good, right? <laughs> so um, I this is probably my most long wearing highlighter where I will put it on in the morning and I will still see it hours later while other ones tend to kind of fade and break up. And you know, it happens. That's the way makeup is. It's always eventually going to break up. It's not going to stay perfect on your face all day long. So this is definitely one of the most long wearing highlighters that I own. The next one I really, really like for um, setting my face when I purchased it. I actually worked with one of the, the Hourglass brand representatives and um, she's super sweet. Her name is Diane and she was in the Sephora and Chandler Fashion Square Mall. And I just went in there looking for stuff and she really um, she really opened my eyes to a lot of information about the Hourglass products. Now I know they're extremely expensive. Um, that's why I would say like make sure when you're buying it like you talk to somebody who knows what they're talking about and you know she really sat me down. She put it on half my face and left the other half bare and it, I d definitely saw the difference in terms of like that glow from within and what's so nice about it is that as well as it is a highlighter and this is the ambient um, in the shade uh, dim light as much as it's nice as a highlighter it's really nice just to set all your foundation and to just brighten your face last but certainly not least my favorite highlighter of the year of course I'm sure this will be a lot of people's is the MAC Oh Darling Highlighter. Now, I was like so on the fence about buying this. It is the highlighter I'm wearing today, but I definitely put it on with a really light hand today because I didn't want to be over the top. So this one does really does not want to be over the top. That's a big lie. So I just have been like really light handed with it because obviously it's sold out and you can't get it anywhere. And I'm just obsessed with this blue packaging. But anyways, I was so I was really on the fence about buying it. So I didn't buy it. And then like I saw a whole bunch of people reviewing it, a bunch of people with pictures on it. And I was like, you know what? I really need to get it. So I called and I called the Nordstrom in Chandler and they didn't have it. So she's like, let me check the computer. So she said that she had found one like in Seattle or something. So she called and they shipped it to me and it was really awesome. So thank you Nordstrom again for awesome customer service, like always coming through, um, you know, with the limited edition stuff. So love you. So that is the Mac Oh Darling um, highlighter. And then the last one I want to talk about, I thought that was the last one, but it's not the last one. So this is the one that's kind of like cheating because it is the Becca Highlight Palette, the Jaclyn Hill collab. So this has three highlighters in one and look at that giant mirror. Let's just, this mirror is, this mirror is giant and it's filthy also. So this is the highlighting trio from Becca Cosmetics. It is the color Pearl, which is now permanent. Uh, champagne pop which is Jaclyn Hill's color and then the blushed copper which is I don't think that's permanent so um, I really liked mixing these two together to highlight my face the champagne pop and the blush copper and then I really liked using um, pearl for the like inner corners and my brow bone highlights so definitely loved this one I don't um, sticking with the highlight theme I have one more to talk about celestial skin liquid lighting by Kevin Aquan so I've used this multiple ways I've used this as a primer and then foundation on top I mix it in with foundation I've used it alone as a highlighter um, I definitely really really love this product um, I don't really have anything bad to say except it's really expensive um, moving on to eyes so I will be the first to tell you that I cannot get the winged liner down I need to just like sit down and practice for a whole day and hopefully I can get it down because I'm one of the you know those memes where it's like oh oh this one's crooked let me fix it oh now that one's not even and then all of a sudden it's like your whole eye is black that is literally that meme was made for me so if you have any tips please leave them down below help a sister out I need some help well also just to piggyback on that you guys know I'm not crazy about the fake lashes also another thing that for 2016 is a goal for me to use them more and just kind of get more comfortable with them I'm going to talk about my favorite mascaras of the year and this was the um, the two that I really liked 
Um, the one that I basically use like every day now and the one that I'm wearing today is the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. And I mean, this is just, it's weird because it's like an applicator that I don't really love. It's like a plastic one and it has like short little plastic bristles but I really love the formula of this mascara it makes my lashes really long and really thick and then the second one I have is the Urban Decay Perversion Bigger Blacker Batter Mascara so this one is that like more um I don't know like kind of looks like spider legs and it's like a really great like you can tell it kind of makes a difference just doing it like this it definitely is great for thicker making your lashes thicker like more dramatic lashes so this is kind of the one I would use when I'm going out at night as opposed to the L'Oreal is more like my daytime and that was purchased based on a recommendation of my cousin so thank you Hubba and the last two eye items I want to talk about well like besides eyeshadow um, are these two eyeliners they're both drugstore so the first one is by Wet n Wild it's the Coal Cran um, I don't even know. It's basically like a nude eyeliner, and I've never actually used a nude eyeliner, and I never really understood the purpose of them until now that I kind of under now I get that it's to make your eyes look more open, kind of give you that like doe-eyed effect. So I've been really liking this one. It is really pigmented for Wet n Wild. I would think it was like two dollars. So I picked up this one because I was like, I don't want to spend like 10, 15 bucks on one and not use it. And I picked up this one. I've actually been really happy with it. So definitely recommend that one. And then the other item, the other eyeliner I have that I love, I'm just running out of space over here, is um, this is like my ride or die. Like this is my, this will be my favorite eyeliner for the rest of my life. I can guarantee you it is the Ulta automatic eyeliner in the color black and it's just like a little pencil it rolls up I like go when they're on sale and buy like 10 at a time and I literally always have them on hand so this is definitely one of my favorite beauty products that I recommend to everyone I just want to breeze through this really fast because I feel like this video is going to be so long so I'll talk about palettes first and then I only have just one set of individual eyeshadows I want to talk about. So my favorite eyeshadows of the year, I have one, two, three, four, five palettes that I've really, really um, reached for a lot this year. The first one I want to talk about is the Tartlet, just the regular Tartlet palette. Um, this is an all matte palette. I did a few looks with this. I haven't uploaded them yet and I'm kind of like, I'm not sure if I'm going to upload them because I recorded them with my old camera, but we'll see. Um, but I just love that this has so many neutral shades all the matte shades in it and I do love matte eyeshadow even though I do love my glitter shadow this is a great matte palette the next one I want to talk about is the Too Faced chocolate bar palette um, this was another one that I used a lot I love the range of colors I will have to say I'm definitely a sucker for warm tones I'm not afraid of cool tones though but when I'm buying eyeshadows I definitely oh god I gravitate more towards warm shadows so I love this palette definitely recommend that one and I need to stop saying definitely I'm so sorry <laughs> and the last one I want to talk about is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette I know this one isn't available anymore but this was definitely you could still go online and look up every eyeshadow and purchase them individually and they're only two dollars a shadow which really isn't bad and that does gives you the luxury or the um, I guess the the benefit of not buying shot not having to buy shadows that you don't wouldn't wear So like some of these like I haven't used yet You can see that some of them are, haven't been touched yet, but most of them I have tried I When I bought this palette, I literally used it non-stop so um, If you can get on the morphe site and purchase them individually I would I, I do recommend that and then the last set of eyeshadows. I want to talk about are from Makeup Geek. So the intention for Makeup Geek for me is to eventually own every single one of them, but right now I could only buy them in small quantities. I did pick up eight shadows this year, um, which I think is a good start. If I can remember, I think Beaches and Cream, Creme Brulee, what's this color? What's this color, Ree? That's Mango Tango, that's Cocoa Bear, that's I think Frappe, yep, Frappe cupcake and this one's my favorite it's called bitten and then down here i have one just when they had that caitlin rose per thing going where they were donating money i ordered that one as well jumping over here to brushes really fast i have a whole bunch i want to talk about i'll talk about face brushes first so the morphe elite collection is obviously a big hit people love them 
I see why. Um, I use the Morphe E2. This has been great for just setting my face after I put on my foundation, either whether I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder or the Hourglass um, Ambient Light Powder. I really like that one. Um, the Morphe, I bought a lot of my Morphe brushes off of Outlook, by the way. So every once in a while, Morphe's on Outlook and everything's discounted. So check that out when they're there. Download the app and you get like little um, alerts about it. So this is the Morphe M553. I really like this one for blush and also um, just for like setting powder, um, blending makeup in my face. <laughs> the next one I want to talk about is my favorite foundation brush. Bruff? It's my favorite foundation brush. It is the Morphe M439 foundation brush. And this is just great because it's really short and dense. It keeps all your product right here. And it just evenly disperses and blends everything out on your face. I've tried it with multiple different kinds of foundation. It smells like my foundation and it's dirty. Um, and this has been my favorite this year. And I've tried a bunch of different foundation ways to apply makeup. Beauty blender, I mean, apply foundation, beauty blenders, flat top kabukis, rounded kabukis, and that one has been my favorite. Um, for bronzer, I really like the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. So this is just, I really like how it gets right in there. It distributes the product so well, and it just blends it out so nicely. So this is what I've been using for my bronzer. I was using this for highlight, but it's a little bit kind of funny because look how big it is. Like, this is not a highlight brushery, but I was using it for highlight, and my highlight was looking a little cray cray. Um, but this is the Luxie 504 Large Angled Brush, and I do actually use this now for blush. So I just take it and kind of press my blush in and then blend it out just like that. And then the last two face brushes I want to talk about, actually, there's four more. Actually, I'm lying. There's a few more. Um... So I really like this contour brush from Real Techniques for setting my under eye concealer. It gets right into the crevices right underneath my eye, right into this spot, little tiny spot right here. And I really like how it set my concealer. And the other one that I've been using for concealer, well that's for setting it with like powder. Um, the other one that I really, really like is the Morphe G2, and this has been really great for blending out my concealer, concealer, just so easy to blend out, like, literally in no time, along with my beauty blenders, obviously, but this, and then, um, I didn't bring them over here, but my two favorite powders for setting my concealer this year have been the Anastasia Banana and Vanilla Powder, which I mention in every one of my videos, um, Last three face brushes I want to talk about is one I picked up from the Target collection. I don't even know. This doesn't have a number or name on it. It came in a set of four, but this is like a dupe for the Anastasia highlighter brush. And this was so cheap. It was like so inexpensive, and it's really great quality, and it really does um, put on highlighter beautifully. Um, another highlighter brush that's I've been really liking is the Morphe M501 and again it just picks up that product and disperses it perfectly right where you want it to go so another favorite and then the um, Sigma tapered highlighter F35 is the one that I've been using lately to also set my under eye concealer as well then five eyeshadow brushes I want to talk about. It was difficult to narrow it down, but I had to because I love all of them. The Morphe E27 has been great just for like kind of blending out this area, um, you know, blending blending out my crease colors, my transition shades. The next one is the um, Morphe M441. Again, for that same area, um, just blending it out, blending uh, in my crease and getting my transition shade blended out. They kind of do the same thing, but one is synthetic and one is like goat hair. Um, the next one is the Luxie 205 Taper Blending. Been obsessed with this brush all year. Again, this is for my crease, but it's a little bit close, like more like right on that bone is where I really like to use this one and then into the inner corner, just like that. Just like that. And then my next favorite is the Morphe M433. Again, another blending brush. I do like this one. It's a little bit denser, so you can go a little bit lower into the crease and I can also take it right onto the lid. So I don't even know what my eyes are going to look like after this because there's definitely leftover eyeshadows on all of these. And the last favorite is the MAC 242. So this is just like a flat, um, 
see just a little skinny baby um what's the word i'm looking for what does this thing do? A shader. So this has been great for just applying um, any eyeshadow to the lid, specifically for pigments and glitters. So this one is the best. Oh my god, I literally have a headache from from shopping. Um, also because I haven't eaten anything today, and it's and my phone's over there, so I don't even know what time it is. And my watch is upset. I know that's silly. My beauty blender, which has been, it's really tiny because I haven't used it in a while. I've really been gravitating towards the Real Techniques, um, I forget what it's called, whatever, Precision Sponge. I don't think it's called the pre Precision Sponge, but the Real Technique Sponge. I really like the flat side, and then it also has this side, which gets really close and up into, up in your ass. So, you know, gets that concealer little blended out real good. Okay, moving on to favorite in setting stuffies. Um, the Urban Decay by Scandinavia Chill Makeup Setting Spray has been my new favorite for setting my makeup. Only weird thing about it is if I get out of my neck, it kind of feels like hairspray a little bit, but keeps your makeup in place. And then the last, um, or the second spray I want to talk about is the MAC Fix Plus. I did purchase this um, when they had like the different scents. I bought it in Yuzu and Lavender and I love them. And this is the original. And I'm just going to spritz some on right now because... I'm feeling a little dry. I am. I'm really hungry. Um, so, what can I say about this? I love this. It has so many uses. Setting your makeup, priming your face, blending out your foundation, um, wetting your brush so you can get your, your pigment to stick. I mean, so many uses out of one product. I'm going to talk about body favorites and nail polish favorites and then some random favorites. So my favorite body wash this year has been the, well, all of the Purity body washes. Literally, every time I see them, I want to buy them. They smell amazing. They leave your skin so soft and smelling delicious. So every time I see them, and where I usually buy them is like Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Even though I will buy them like at um, Ulta and stuff if I see them on sale, but I definitely like to buy them from Marshalls and TJ Maxx because they're a lot cheaper. Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods. Love you. The Soap and Glory, and this is actually, um, it costs less than the Purity, and it, it smells amazing. Like, the best way I can describe this is, like, a creamy, clean smell. And, like, that's literally how to say, describe it. Clean on me, creamy, clarifying shower gel. Um, I didn't buy this very long ago, and you can see I definitely made a huge done in it. I use it, and the shower, the whole bathroom, like, just radiates with the smell, and it really stays on me, and it cleans my skin really well, so definitely love that one. Favorite body lotion of the year, or body cream, so this is, like, my luxurious one that I put on my hands before I go to bed at night, and I just love the smell of it, is the Philosophy Falling in Love, um, it's a whipped body cream. I really wish you guys could smell this. Like, the name of this body cream just captures the scent. Like, it literally gives you that feeling of, like, like falling in love. Like, oh, my God. It literally smells amazing. Next ones I want to talk about, just sticking with the body theme or my favorite perfumes of the year. So my three favorite perfumes, definitely um, the Coco, the Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. This is just a really, just like a very woman scent, like very sexy, sweet, like um, just warm scent. And I really, really have been loving this one. The next one um, are two, I would say, like cooler scents. This is the Burberry Brit Sheer. And this is just a nice, like, fresh, clean scent. Again, another one that's, like, is going to leave you smelling great all day. I don't really like to buy cheap perfumes because I don't think it makes sense to buy a perfume that you're going to smell for an hour and it's going to be gone. And the third one I want to talk about is the MAC um, Turquatic. So, random, I know, like, nobody would think, look what that stuff did to my forehead. Like, I look, like, really greasy and real bad right there, but whatever. Just gonna go with it. Um, I know this is totally random because everybody goes to MAC for makeup, but this perfume smells amazing. Another really long-lasting one. This candle from Bath & Body Works. It's Radiant Red Maple, and its notes are red Macintosh apple, smoky woods, and toasted marshmallow. It's that sweet apple, like that marshmallow and that apple-y scent that draw me in. 
It's just my favorite. I know it's a fall candle, but it, I've literally been burning it nonstop. I don't know if you could see it back there, but this is just an extra one I bought because it was on sale. Four nail polishes I want to talk about. Very different colors, which is good. I kind of wanted to pick a nice, oh uh, my God, look at my hand. Um, a nice wide array of colors. So two of them are by OPI. One of them is Lincoln Park After Dark. I know how freaking cliche, but the next one from OPI is the... Um, I saw Paolo over there. So it's just a nice, like, mauve color. Um, next one that I picked up kind of recently also, but it's just, like, it looks kind of gold, but it's rose gold. It's Essie Penny Talk. I love, 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 love this nail polish. The only thing that's weird about it is it kind of gets starts to look, like, dark around your nail. I don't know if it's a nail polish or something else, but definitely my another one of my favorite nail polishes of the year. And then last is this color. OMG, this color is gorgeous. Jersey. It's by Sally Hansen, and it is the color Sugar Fix. I know this is going to kind of sound weird, but this is like the perfect baby blue with like purpley colors in it. I don't know why I feel like it looks purpley, but it's literally my one of my favorite nail polishes that I've ever purchased. Perfect baby blue, perfect for spring and summer. So at least my favorite favorite lips so I have like a ton um, so I really want to get through this quickly so I'll start by talking about my Mac favorite so um, Mac Whirl came out I don't know if it just came out this year but this was a lip liner that I loved and when they finally came out with the lipstick I was so freaking happy about it so let me open this one up guys real fast so that's what that color looks like it's a like really nice like mauvey nude brown color, nice everyday shade. Next one I want to talk about is a good nude from MAC. It's the shade Velvet Teddy. I was wearing this in combination with the MAC World Lip Liner. Um, it's my favorite, I would say, go out to sit on a, on a limb and say this is my favorite nude from um, MAC. Um, it is a matte finish, which is probably another reason why I like it. Okay, definitely going to be brighter colors now. So the next three are oldies but goodies from MAC. And the first one I want to talk about is the MAC um, Flat Out Fabulous. So this is a like magenta e pink color. Like what a transition, right, to go from those nudes to that color. So it's this color right here. It's a, um, it's a matte. Oh, I thought it was a, uh, what's it called? retro matte so I thought it was a retro matte but it's just a matte so it's this color here I love that it's like a pink magenta pink um my favorite hot pink lipstick next one is MAC Rebel again this is a well this isn't a matte this is a satin finish so this is a purple lipstick from from MAC and I'm only going to swatch the MAC ones because the other ones will take me forever to swatch so it's that one right there and the last one from MAC that I want to talk about is MAC Heroin this is a matte finish also. Oh, it looks like it got a little melty on the back. But this is what this color looks like. Um, again, I go from like those neutrals to the crazy bright shades. And I'm not really afraid of them. I have so much fun with colors like this. So that's Max Heroin. I only have two drugstore products that I want to talk about. The first one is by Wet n Wild. It's in the color Cherry Picking. And this is a matte also. It's that one down here. Um down over here so that's cherry picking and then um, NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade Prague was another really big hit for me this this year it's this shade down here I love this these soft matte lip creams they go on really creamy and dry matte and Prague was like definitely one of my favorite colors of the year look how pretty this looks okay moving on to ColourPop I did have one really like Ride or die, like this guy's like all you can barely even see it's all the way down there. This is the um, Lumiere Lippy Stick in the matte finish, and this is the one that they did that Kathleen Lights created with them. The smell's still a little funky, but that color is beautiful. It's this color down here. This is the Audacious, Lipst Audacious Lipstick from um, NARS, and it's in the shade Anna. and. See, I'm running out of space here. And I said I was only going to swatch the two, but I want to swatch them all. So it's this shade up here. Um, it's, again, another, like, you can see the trend here. I definitely really like those, like, mauve brown colors, everyday shades. Um, as, mu as much as much as much. 
as well as my crazy bright colors. The next one I want to talk about is from Shiseido. It's in the color RS745. They don't have names. So I'm going to swatch it down here. That's another really nice one that um, my husband picked out for me. It's the color right over here. It's similar to the NARS Audacious. It just has a little bit more of a, oops, a little bit shinier finish than the, um, than the NARS Audacious, which is kind of like a matte finish. Uh, going to lip, lip, what are these things called again? Liquid lipstick. Uh, talk about these real fast. So I have two favorites from Ofra Cosmetics. It's Ofra's Atlantic City, which is just a, per like it's literally the perfect red. It's that red right there. And it's also called Atlantic City, so I kind of have a bias because I'm from New Jersey, you know? I know you guys didn't know that, right? <laughs> and then the other one I really liked is called Santa Ana. Again, it's like one of those like mobbier shades. It's kind of similar to Prague, but it's more, um, it's kind of similar to Prague, which is down here, but it's definitely more pinky. So it's that color right there. Next things I want to talk about are liquid lipsticks from these two brands and I can't even swatch them all because there's just, oops, there's makeup all over one of them. Um, it's from the Dose of Color Liquid Lipsticks and of course my all-time favorite are the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks and my favorite, favorite one from Jeffree Star, I do have um, Androgyny Doll Parts and Ho Ho Ho. Um, so it's like this red color is Ho Ho Ho. This Doll Parts is like that pinky color and then Androgyny is another one of those like mauve shades. So I'll swatch that one for you guys real fast. Um, it's the color I'm wearing today and it's literally my favorite product of 2015. My favorite product of 2015. My favorite product of 2015. And it's that color right there. It is literally the perfect ratio of brown, mauve, pink, purple, like rose. It is the perfect shade. Perfect shade. The great thing is about Jeffree Star is he is making it permanent, so that will be back February 2016. All right, and the last three liquid lipsticks I want to talk about are the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks, and I have the shade Truffle, Bury Me, and Stone. I'm going to swatch Stone because it's my favorite. I just want to talk about the packaging of these, both of these actually, um, the, the Jeffree Star and the Dose of Colors. I just love this packaging. It's short and fat and it's just so cute and the applicators are awesome. Um, so I'm going to swatch my favorite one from Dose of Colors. Again, really like the um, consistency of this. Really creamy, very pigmented, dries matte. Doesn't I don't have the problem with it breaking up on me like I do with some liquid lipsticks that I haven't even mentioned this video because I wasn't really happy with the ones I bought, but... Um, this is the Dose of Color Stone. It's right here. Um, hands down my favorite nude lipstick. I'll, I'm going to go out and tell you that these two are my two favorite colors of 2015. The Dose of Color Stone and the Jeffree Star Androgyny Liquid Lipsticks are my favorite. Thank you. They're so beautiful. Thank you, Dose of Colors. Thank you, Jeffree Star. Woo! I'm tired. Um, the last two lip items I want to talk about are the Buxom... Um, what are these things called? Full on lip creams, lip glosses, and they're both just sheer basically. One's like a little bit pinky and the other one's a little bit more mauve-y. Um, these are great because they have like that minty like finish. So they're like really, they feel really nice and cool on your lips. So last item I want to talk about is my favorite method of washing my brushes. So I tried a whole different bunch of brush washers this year, brush cleansers. The number one pro number one thing that works for me, cheapest, washing my brushes the best, leaves them the softest. Highly, highly recommend doing this, guys. Dish soap and olive oil. Mix those two bad boys up, wet your brush, stick it in there, then just take the brush under the faucet, grind it out on your hand, perfectly clean, like brand new. Like I, you take a brush that looks like this, and I'm not kidding, my Real Techniques brushes are white after I wash them, like brand new brushes. So that um, is the last favorite I wanted to talk to you guys about. So I'm so sorry that this video is like freaking forever long, but I wanted to get everything in one video and get this um, ready for you guys. I am gonna be uploading this either on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, um, depending on how quickly I can get it edited and uploaded and if I record another video prior to this one. Um, 
I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy New Year. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Ugh. Can I eat now? Because I'm really hungry. Thank you so much to the troopers that watched this video and stuck it out for the whole thing. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.